Two car dealerships broken into as several vehicles stolen overnight. They kicked off a chase across two counties. Fox 17 Savannah Fish has security footage that shows the thieves in action. Take a look at this security video. Glass smashing during a bold heist as thieves drive cars right through the walls of an Ottawa County dealership Monday morning. So these cars are all from Elhart. So they just came from Elhart with these four. Thieves first broke into Elhart Hyundai off of Chicago Drive in Holland, stole four cars and drove them to their next target just down the street, European Auto House. So he has a tire wrench in his hand. That's actually what they broke in with and they left it here, which the police took. Justin Ryan, European Auto House general manager says the thieves broke in through a small window and searched the showroom for any working keys. Eventually, they found one and took off with a $40,000 Bentley. <laughs> the Bentley is still missing. Police believe these men likely connected to rash dealership break-ins across Ottawa and Kent County. We're not totally sure yet, but uh, we're kind of linking it in with some possible other businesses that were broken into also. Obviously, we'll be doing some proactive things to uh, to uh, combat this. Um, so we'll be a little smarter because of this one here. Yeah, it's too bad. So we unfortunately, we did have another uh, local dealer get hit. Uh, it was either the last week or the week before. And fortunately, we're all friendly in this neighborhood. And, and they let us know, hey, this is what happened. Take some precautions. And we did. But unfortunately, um, they're thieves and they figured out a way around and were able to find a few keys and, and take a few cars. Elhart suffering multiple windows broken and four cars stolen. The damage to the show floor, I, I have no clue. We obviously have some workers already taking care of business, replacing glass, but uh, the vehicles alone are probably close to a couple hundred thousand dollars. So GPS technology helping police find the cars. Dealers across West Michigan worried that a growing smash and grab trend won't stop anytime soon. We work really, really hard. We work long hours and it's just uh, it's disheartening when something like this happens, but we're also a close-knit family and close-knit community. And so we'll, we can fix the windows and we can replace cars. We're glad nobody got hurt. In Holland, Savannah Fish, Fox 17 News.